Well, in this next lesson, what we're going to be looking at are many different ways of desaturating an image. And what does that actually mean, desaturating an image? Well, technically speaking, if we completely desaturate an image, that image will become a black and white image. Now, again, we can do this in many different ways. Uh, there happens to be a black and white adjustment, which I will be showing you. It's uh, a great addition that came in recently, not in CS5, but I believe in CS4, to Photoshop. And that's one way that we can work with this. But notice there's also a hue saturation adjustment. And there are other things like vibrance, which talks to you about how vibrant and how saturated an image happens to be. Well, as you may have already noticed, under the adjustments, there are vibrance, hue saturation as well. And there is the black and white right here. We already saw color balance in a previous video, so let's take a look at vibrance and see what it does. Well, first and foremost, I've opened up Win Women in Red JPEG, and this is the original one that is very red. Um, we saw that before we applied some color balance to it. If you were working with that color balance, just delete the um, adjustment layer that you happen to have here, and we will work with a new one. So as you might notice, the vibrance and saturation sliders here will show you exactly what I was intending to um, illustrate. Here, if I were to completely desaturate this image, we would end up with an image that is devoid of color and in fact now just completely black and white. There are other ways that we can do this as well, as you'll see in just a few minutes. So now if I was to increase the vibrance, well, it doesn't really affect anything in this black and white area. But if we were to bring this back to, say, our zero amount, and you could even enter that numerically just by clicking on zero, you would see that the vibrance is really adding some life to that color. If I was to take the vibrance to minus 100, see everything is very flat and not really um, jumping out any of those colors whatsoever. So we certainly still could reduce the amount of red that's in this and I'd probably do that with the color balance. But as you may notice, right, the vibrance is also determining how bright or vibrant those colors happen to be. Alright, well I'm just going to trash this particular adjustment layer. And let's take a look at hue and saturation. Now notice this. Here we have a number of things that are at our disposal. Number one, there is the hue, which determines what colors you're going to be working with. And if we were to just randomly move that through, you would see that, you know, depending on what we're using here, that's going to determine um, what kind of effect your image is going to have. It's not really exactly what I want to be working with, so I'm just going to leave this at its original zero so that we have the original hue that this was in. And you'll notice the complementary colors on the other edges of that. If we desaturate the image here, again, complete desaturation means a black and white image. And also notice that there are other elements that we can play with here as well. So if I put this back to zero, lightness determines, it's sort of like a brightness contrast thing, except it's really just adding more white or more dark to this, so it's a brighter, lighter image. Brightness contrast still better to work with if you want to control those individually. Notice also that hue saturation has been around longer than the new black and white feature, which I'll show you in a second. And there used to be a means of colorizing your work just by clicking on this little colorize here. Well, you can see that this is sort of a means of creating like a dew-tone effect on your image where you're really only using one color and blacks and whites. And that particular color can be changed just by clicking on the different hues. So if you wanted it more of a yellowish hue or a greenish hue, or something along those lines, all you would need to do is to click in these areas, or slide, I should say, in these areas. Now that's great. Um, really nice work and is a wonderful way to uh, produce your images. However, I'm going to delete that, and I want to introduce you to the black and white one as well. And in the black and white one, well, take a look. First thing that happens is, well, your object becomes, lo and behold, black and white. Um, makes sense given what we're trying to do with this particular file here. Now, notice there's a couple of options here. Click and drag an image 
in the image to modify a slider. And this is a little feature that allows you to you know, click and drag here with the amount of reds that we want to be using or if I was affecting the yellow and clicking and dragging we could do that as well. Coming in here just by doing something like that. But I'm going to go through Command Z and I'm going to press Command Alt or Option Z to get us back to where we were. Now, it's not the slider that I'm really interested in. What I wanted to show you was the tinting ability. And as you can see, whatever color you happen to have here, that's what is going to be the tint color. So that's automatically worked out here for you. Now, certainly, if you wanted more yellows, you could come in there and apply more yellows or do anything that you wish. I'm just going to step back again hit the tint. So by default you have this beautiful little sepia tint as you can see here and that's really wonderful but if you wanted a different color just click on this area here and you could come in there and you could apply more rich or you know more leaning towards the black and whites or something like that or if you wanted something to be a bluish tone or something along those lines well that's easily done just by coming in here and clicking on these colors. So those are three really good adjustments at working with black and whites or working with elements that you wanted to use so that you could tint your particular photo in any fashion you wish.